Barack Hussein Obama. Hi, Barack Hussein Obama. Where were you when they announced him as the first black president of the most powerful country in the world, the US? I do solemnly swear. Well, I was home. I won't lie, I shed a tear because I couldn't believe that a man from Kenya can do the impossible. Oh my goodness. He inspired millions of people across the globe. And knowing that he's from Kenya, not just Kenya, but Siaya. Siaya is my county, guys. We share a county with Obama. Oh my gosh, you guys. I decided, let me take a risk and visit his village. Maybe, maybe, just maybe I will get a chance to, you know, find his home in maybe if luck is on my side they might just let me in never say never because you guys guess what <laughs> i managed to enter the home of the first black president of the united states of freaking america dad i'm in obama's home about his enu guys so we are in mbale Mbale is in Vihiga County. I'm super, 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 super excited. I can't believe I'm actually going to Barack Obama's home freaking town. What? You guys, what are you saying? What? Man, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Barack Obama. What? The most powerful man in the world. Okay, at least at one point, he was the most powerful man in the whole entire world. I'm going to his freaking hometown. Oh my God, I'm super excited. It's early morning, you guys. We just came to fuel up and then hit the freaking road. It's about two hours from here. So, yeah, let's go. We're going with him. You're we very excited. Barack Obama's home. Hometown. Heading to Bondo, Kogelo. Hey! Hey! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good, guys, so right now we've gotten to Rwanda. And Luanda is not so far from Yala, and Yala is where I come from. It just feels good to be passing, you know, near my home when I'm going to Obama's hometown. And as you guys can all see, I'm also kind of related to Obama because I'm passing my home, okay? It's not that far from Obama's place. I'm super, super excited, you guys. You have no idea. Oh my gosh. I wish like I'd be able to like stop a little just you know to go to my home but right now it's not even it's not a must like I don't care I'm just looking forward to get to Kogalo you guys oh my gosh what you guys I don't I don't even have words to express how excited I am Kogalo is Gormania like oh guys I've just been corrected Kogalo is actually Gormahia's nickname yeah Kogalo and Kogelo is where Obama comes from did you guys even know that I didn't that's interesting if you've learned something new give the video a thumbs up guys so we've come to this place where apparently I don't know if you guys know Oriro Gomanduli she's been told she's actually from here like it's crazy how very many popular people very famous people who are doing really amazing are from this Yaya county and it just makes me proud to be from here you know it's crazy you guys anyway we're still on our way we're still going i'll let you guys know when you get there this is good guys this is so exciting so now we've come across a signpost that shows the way to Obama Secondary School. Yeah, Senator Obama. Senator, senator. When oh, so it was named when he was still senator before he became president. Before he became president. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys! I feel like oh my gosh, like you don't even understand. The school was named after Obama when he became senator in the states. So I'm super excited. Every inch closer to Kogelo is getting me really, really. I don't think I've ever been this excited in the video. Guys, as you can see, we are in Siaya County. We are in, oh my gosh, <laughs> Senator Obama Primary School. What are you talking about? I feel like I'm dreaming. Like, am I dreaming? Somebody just pinch me. Is there a President Obama Secondary School or something? You know, I only see these things on BBC, CNN, stuff like that. Right now, I'm here. Me, Miss Trudy. Oh my oh, right God. Here. What? Oh 
oh my gosh you guys <laughs> so right now we are at barack obama center for knowledge and learning and excellence guys i'm just shocked i'm just oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't believe it what so apparently obama has been here and he lodged this place yani i'm stepping on the same place where obama stepped oh my god you guys i'm just excited you don't even understand like barack obama this we're not just talking about anyone we're talking about someone who was the most powerful man in the whole entire world you don't understand the level of inspiration i'm getting right now anyway let's see if you can get an opportunity to go inside a few moments later guys so we just left and um, these guys didn't exactly want us to film inside they told us to go and see i don't know the director they sent us somewhere else which is understandable but i'm just shocked at how empty the institution is you know i thought it would be bustling you know be bustling yani. but then it's it's empty so anyway we are going so i saw there is a hotel called state house you know laws get so innovative yani when it comes to laws with names a hotel actually called white house not state house white house so i'm really hoping to get to this white house restaurant it's not a hotel wow this is so beautiful oh my gosh you guys so uh we came to a hotel called the white house and first thing we see when we enter is obama's photos and the family they can see obama in the huru kenyatta oh this looks nice oh look at that so here we have obama oh my god it's me and obama hi obama oh my god and then of course this is the grandma mama sarah obama but then who's this guy <laughs> is it malik obama someone said it's um miguna miguna <laughs> Trouble, Kobe. does it look familiar to you <laughs> guys so man not so far from obama's home we have a hotel here which they call white house it's white it's big and uh, yeah, they decided to call it White House. It's so beautiful how Lua's have decided to identify themselves with the US. You know, after Obama became president, you have Obama Primary School, you know, Obama Secondary. You have places like White House. It's insane. And I don't know, what do you guys think about that? And here we have, hi, what's your name? I'm Bevil. Bevil. Yeah. So Bevil, uh, how does it feel like to work just behind Obama's backyard? I might say it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. And why is this place called White House? Uh, this place is called White House just after, like, Obama's White House. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this place was named right after Obama entered White House. Yeah. I love how people from here really appreciate Obama. That's yeah. amazing. Um, what if Fresh Obama fish. is watching? What would you like to tell Obama? Ah, uh, I'd like to say hi to him, and I'd like him to come back home because oh. people are expecting him. Hey, that's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Welcome. A few moments later. So guys, here we've come to Mama Sarah Obama Education Center. In case you don't know who Mama Sarah Obama is, she's actually Obama's grandma. So let's go in and see what goes on here. Guys, so here we seem to have a school, a small school for young kids. People who seem to be between 5 and 10 years. Then, here. Yes. How are you? Very fine. Thank you. Is this your hometown? Are you from here? Yeah, I come from around, not very really? far. Really? Yeah. How does it feel like to be from the same hometown with Obama? <laughs> I feel very happy. Really? Yeah, very, oh my very gosh. Happy. You know, I'm also from Siaya. You're from Siaya? <laughs> yes, I'm from Yala though. Oh, Not okay. this close to Obama, but you know, we still claim him, you know? Yeah. So it must be nice. Yes, it's nice. Uh, what do you have to say about the school? Why is it called Sarah Obama? In fact, it's Mama Sarah who started the school. Mama Sarah started the school? Yeah, it was. Wow. Uh, it, I, I think she wanted to make it an orphanage, yeah? So when he, she started the school, she started with orphans. In fact, most of these children are orphans. Really? Yeah. Wow. So she just told the villagers that if there are orphans who are not able to go to school, the parents are not able to pay school fees, then they just bring them here so that 
Yeah. Oh really? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So Sarah Obama was actually a good woman. Yeah. You're doing good for the yeah. community. For the community. That's really nice. Yeah. She really cared about widows and I often. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Have you met her in person? Yeah, you yeah. have. Used to, yeah, she used to come here. Oh man. Oh, I wish I could meet her. <laughs> she used to come here really? so many times. Yeah. How would you describe the, her? She was a uh, very Welcoming and uh, very, uh, in fact, she had a heart of helping mm -hmm. uh, those who are not able. Mm -hmm. uh, she mostly cared about orphans and uh, widows. Oh, wow. Uh, because I used to see her bringing prizes and presents to these young Oh, really? Yeah, young, young children. That's amazing. She used uniform, she used to give them free. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so nice, guys. I didn't know that. Um, I am impressed. Thank you so much for your time. And if at all President Barack Obama is watching, what would you like to tell him? I would like to tell him to at least remember this school because that since Mama Sa the orphans are not uh, getting already what they were promised by Mama Sarah. Whoever is left, maybe the, she was the one who was so much concerned about the school. Mm -hmm. So we just we are just requesting if she can and oh man if he can at least give us some assistance to at least be able to help the we the orphans. We really very much appreciate. Thank you so much. Yeah. Guys, there you have it. Barack Obama, Mr. President. In yeah. case you come across this video, I hope you've had even Sasha and Malia. I mean, you can't just show your dad this video because there's a possibility you might come across it. <laughs> Guys, so we met that man over there apparently, and he told us Barack Obama's brother is around. So, push your fingers for us. We really hope to, you know, to meet him. It's going to be dope if I, oh my gosh, don't even. Kogalo Secondary School. Oh my gosh. Guys, so many things here are named after Obama and the mother. I'm super excited to be here. Right now we are at Senator Obama Secondary School. Um, I wanna go in. I hope I'll catch a student or a teacher, ask them a couple of questions. And I yeah, see what we they have to say here. Yeah? Is that the name of Obama? Yeah. Just to honor him. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So it has always... When, when he became a senator, we ah. thought that we should honor him. Oh, wow. By naming his world. So it, even before he was senator, you guys knew he was from here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we knew. Okay, um, so what was the name of this school before then? Um, the name was... Kogelo Secondary School. Kogelo Secondary School. Yeah. And to honor Obama, you change it to Obama Secondary School. Senator Obama, when he became a senator. Why didn't you change it to President Obama when he became mm, president? Okay, changing is a process. And again, we are seeing that um, at one time, he's not the president, he's an ex-president. So if you keep on changing like that, mm -hmm. it will force us again to change to ex-president Obama. Okay. But he was, was once a senator, he was a senator. Okay. Um, so, how does it feel like, you know, not not many of us know Obama is from Kenya, some people know he's from CIA, but knowing that this is actually his hometown, wow, must be nice, it's like, are you, you're proud, yeah, to yeah. be from the same area with Obama, yeah. and I'm sure the students must also be proud, because I think they see that nothing is impossible, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's amazing, because at least they can, uh, they are able to enter and instead of Obama, the president of the US, wow, that's a big deal, so what is the one message you'd like to give Obama if he's watching? Maybe we can just tell him to maybe do something for the school. Mm -hmm. Maybe organize some scholarships, things like that. And also, also infrastructure improvement so that the school will look a bit nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye, guys. Guys. We made it to Sarah Obama's home, which is Obama's home. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even believe it. Let me show you, let me show you. I hope they let us film. I hope they don't mind. So this is apparently Sarah Obama's home and opposite is, the son is called who again? Malik. Malik Obama. Malik Obama. So the homesteads are like opposite each other. Look at this place. It's so quiet, so beautiful. Oh man, just the peace I get from looking at this is unexplainable 
So we are currently at the gate, waiting for them to open. Guys, so there's someone approaching the gate. I am really hoping they let us in. Really hoping that would be so dope. A few minutes later. Right there. Oh my god, you guys! Officially into Obama's compound. Hey. Oh my god, you guys! They've actually let us in. This is police post, you guys. They actually have police post in the compound. Obama compound police post. Oh my freaking gosh. And bumps. We are on a bump. <laughs> That's so funny. Literally. Oh wow. Snap. This is actually police post. They think to guard um Obama's home. Yo guys, this is insane, man. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever think I'd be here. So I've been told that traditionally you're supposed to go straight to the grave fast and pray for anything else. Father, thank you for everything. We're happy to be here. Bless this journey and we want to visit Obama. Guys, so here we have so, so not even where Obama's um, family, uh, they, they, they're actually laid to rest. We have the grandfather here and next to the grandfather is the grandmother's graveyard who died this year yeah it was just to this year sarah obama and then the dad right over there so guys so you can see this was her initial house and then of course i guess obama improved the home into a better home oh this one is better it's so beautiful it, it's bigger and um that's why obama actually said in a speech that her home isn't the way it used to be obviously when he became president things changed yeah, i'm signing the condolence book um, guys man i can't believe i'm in obama's mama sarah obama's house and you can see there are pictures of obama with his babies and his grandma when he was 27 when he came here oh my god i'm so happy this is insane i can't believe it so to the workers here it's normal but for me this is nothing like normal this is just like a movie yeah it's a good thing me i've been i've been coming here mama sarah was my friend i've come here like twice um, twice yeah like twice. how was it it was nice we came here she was peeling maize and uh, potatoes i think really? up here. we made us tea uh, I came with my dad and, and my cousin called Eric, Eric Shepard. So, these are good people, you've seen the way they're humble. How was she in person? She was a good person. Yeah. She's done a lot of charity. She, she has a lot of uh, women league things. She's yeah, done that's a lot the thing for we're kids. Getting. We're getting, yeah, we're here, she was doing many things for orphans and children. Yeah, it's, it's so true. And, oh, and she, was, she was an ambassador, I think, of uh, HIV also. Yeah. So, rest in peace, Mama. Oh, rest in peace, man. I'm in Obama's home. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Like, this woman was clearly doing a lot for the community. I wish I met her when she was alive. I really wish. But it's okay. He's from here. Better late than never. So, so Sarah Obama has been to New York. Several days. Several days. Oh, but of course. I mean, <laughs> she is the mother of the first black president. What do you expect? Because you see this. Uh, this is um, entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Education Pioneer Award. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. So she works with women, mm -hmm. empowering young girls, giving them education. Mm -hmm. She was awarded this. Wow. By the United Nations. That's amazing. That's what I want to do. I want to empower women. Yeah. Oh, this, um, this is so inspiring. This is oh, I know Great Lakes University. University. Where she got her honorary degree. Oh, and okay. Doctor of Letters. She was Doctor Mamasaro Obama. Hey guys, so please, please don't say Sarah Obama, it's doctor. Clyde, uh, Sir Clyde Awards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't even believe I'm holding what Mama Sarah Obama <laughs> held. Hey, we're talking about Obama's grandma. She held this, she received this. And me, a simple girl. Hey, from Nairobi, is holding these things. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. <laughs> it's the one and the first one in Kenya. This is called Satma oh, Award. Oh, no one else in Kenya has got this award apart from Mama Sarah Obama. The 10th Satma Award 
was given to Mama Sarah Obama oh, wow. in South Africa. Wow. One award every goes, year. Yeah, one award so every year. Oh, one wow. award. Yeah. So mm. she got this. She oh. got this tenth one. The tenth nice. one. Nice. This is impressive. This means she was actually doing something major. Yeah. If if this woman, uh, Miss uh, Ma Madam Sarah Obama, is your mom, mm -hmm. means you're Obama's auntie. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Hey guys, I've met Obama's <laughs> auntie. Hey, me, me. Can you believe it? She's so nice. Oh my gosh, she's so nice to us, you guys. Kumbe, me and me are talking. Kumbe, she's Obama's aunt. Hey, <laughs> yo. Oh my gosh, you guys. What are you saying? This is the best day of my entire life. I met Obama's aunt. She doesn't want to be on camera, but um, still okay. We still have her voice on camera. Oh my god. Oh, look at that image. That's so nice. See, look at that. Oh. Yo, see Obama in the family. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so inspiring. Like, I don't know if they understand how they inspire Africans, you know? To be an African. You know, and then to have someone from Africa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do what what Obama has done is just insane, and mm -hmm. I feel so inspired. Even just holding this right now, this is the mm -hmm. original copy. Mm -hmm. I know you guys have seen it online on Google, but here mm -hmm. I am holding the original copy of the Obama mm -hmm. family portrait. Mm -hmm. Man, what? Dad, yes. oh, Daddy won't even believe what I'm about to tell you right now. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, dad. I'm in Obama's home. Can you believe it? And we met the sister. She's so nice. She showed us the family portraits. Dad, I can't even believe it. Oh my god. What? We are in we are sitting in the chairs of hey Sarah Obama, Dad. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Guys, I know you have seen this image on Google. I know you've seen it on Google, but I'm here holding the original. Oh my gosh, the original photo that Obama actually took with his grandma right here in this compound. This is beautiful. This is insane. Guys, if anyone tells you anything is impossible, you should look them in the eye and tell them that they are a liar because I can't believe it. Where I'm standing right now is Obama's home. Sarah Obama's home. I can't even believe it. I'm so happy. Today I've gotten to meet Obama's auntie. She's so nice. Yo, please just pinch me. I think I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. How is this possible? But I feel like it's real because like I've touched the images. <sighs> we were hopeful that when we got here, you know, they might just let us come in. We I wasn't really sure they'd let, they'd let us come in, but they did. And this just shows me that in life sometimes you have to take risks because you never know what the outcome will be. I'm, I'm just so happy guys um this is one of the highlights of my entire life yo anyway um this place is just it's a quiet you know it's a quiet home silence people are not so many we've been told that since sarah obama died you know the activities have gone down a little um yeah just the sister and some security we have some I have like a small police post here to ensure security and uh that's about it it's, it's so you know you you wouldn't tell that such a humble home has produced the world's most powerful man at least at some point so i hope you are intrigued i hope you humble they hope you're inspired and encouraged i hope you feel like nothing is impossible you can come from a very humble beginning and make it big yo like make it big like big like obama i'm talking obama big you know so yeah this is this is i'm just amazed you guys Ooh.